I start thinking about the future, I really don't want to change the present very much. I mean, I think there's a lot to be learned from really doing what we're doing right now and watching it. Mm. And watching it to see how it changes and mm. what might happen. I mean, I, I know that I could keep on changing. The, 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 the other reason about doing strange times and changing, changing up, I've always wanted to improvise on stage. I mean, mm. with, with the view and everything else, mm. improvisation and, and mm. that element and things, the uncertainty, the, the mm. you know, trying to get to a conclusion and not getting there, all, mm -hmm. that, all that, those human frailties. Mm. Um, and I think. This is a very good vehicle for doing a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, trying to come to a conclusion is not the answer mm -hmm. to it. You know, there shouldn't be a conclusion here. It's, it's, that's the wrong attitude. Mm -hmm. If you have what's coming out of there in the sight, a little bit of it, or delay it, it would make them bigger. Do you think that's going to be a feedback problem? Oh, it would spread, it? Yeah. Now, what if you... Uh, is the all, are all the delays in the drone too? I see. That's... Take them out, yeah. Take the delays out of the drones and put them somewhere else. So what did you think between the, 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 the two nights, the show? Why did you decide to change it up on the second night? Oh, I, did, I didn't feel right. It wasn't... It was um, it just a little too busy. I mean, we're talking about strange times. Mm. It was just a little too busy, and I didn't didn't really get the idea of strange properly. So, mm. uh, having somebody bend a chord all the way through it was really a, a good basis for it. this mm. this nauseating sort of uh, tone that was going through it, and and the guitar doing other things. Mm. But then having a nice funky bass for it, it sort of propped it up properly mm. and there was a story you could tell in there he created a sort of a, mm. a very different say, it was dark but, mm. but it was um, why did you want to leave them like that leave the audience with that that sort of strange it, dark tone I, th I thought it ended plaintively I mm. mean the guitar was singing across the waters across the waters across the waters mm. so it was very uh, hypnotic, and that's kind, of, that's kind of the thing that I think both elements in this thing have, is the possibilities of hypnosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mesmerizing people, really putting them in a, in a nice place. Yeah, yeah. And, no, and, and not to menace or any of that. It's just, mm. I benefited from looking at the drones. Uh, it was because I was drifting around in it. Mm. And I think the benefits are from drifting around in it. And, mm. and uh, it doesn't necessarily affect your playing. And it's not as if you're trying to influence it by playing it a certain way or mm. anything. It's just like you're appreciating the fact you're in the same space mm. and wondering, mm. sort of, but is it trying like, to figure out what is it? Mm. Is it like when you, like when you look over at your guitar player or something, and then you you know you, you connect, and then you know okay, well we're gonna we're gonna run this again. We're sure, gonna, you know, sure. It's the same I mean, it's, yeah, it's that human element of yes, uh, I'm not alone, mm. and that's that's a very important principle in all of it. Mm. Yes, I'm not alone. Mm. Mm. But I think what is most interesting is just trying to get them to just drift and start yeah. to see, so they're much more yeah. hypnotic than yeah. they are yeah, spectacular, yeah. you know, yeah, and totally. that's, the, that's the direction, really. Yeah. Because people then just disappear into that world, yes. yeah. as opposed to being stunned by the spectacle. These drones that we're flying around are actually super handcrafted object in the same way our drones are extraordinarily advanced technologies but they're dressed in these costumes 
But those terms like technology or nature are, are outmoded ones, you know, like, like the technology is almost natural. No, like it, the, it, it's it's the wrong way to think about it. If we're if we're making distinctions between the robotics and the natural, because the the two are one and the same. The thing they're going to be used for everything. They're going to touch every part of our lives somehow, right? They they might never have to touch the ground again. You know, like once you launch them, they just drift endlessly. So if they do, then do they start to you know do birds start to nest on them? Like they start to get moss, yeah, and then they get bigger, and then they join together, and then they kind of cluster, and then all of a sudden you've got these floating islands. Like you know that Miyazaki Japanese animation film uh, La Laputa, which is this, this floating island of technology that, that had had the weeds and trees on it. You know, it's that idea. What we're doing now is just coming to understand how the drone's supposed to move, and that means that it's got to stay a certain distance away from itself. It can't. They can't fly over the top of each other because they just knock each other out of the air. You know, all that stuff is learning. You know, we've had thousands and thousands of years of evolution to understand how the body moves. You know, now it's time to really interrogate how the drone moves and how it behaves. That's what's exciting. Yeah, it's Going through channel four. Um, have they got that all set up? Have you got the drone coming from channel four for you? One, two, one, two. Yeah, we got both of them working. Let's have a shot at this, see if it works. Yeah. No. Coming. But I think that's the, I mean, that's, a, that's a truly unique thing from this performance is that I don't think anyone's ever experienced sound moving dynamically above them in that way, right? Like, yeah, we could, you know, surround sound, we can play with where it comes from, but actually having this, this localized source that's drifting in and out of focus, yes. that's really novel because we've never had the technologies to allow, to allow it to happen before. That's one of the things about the directionality of the speakers in the drones that, that's, that's interesting, is what, um, what's your radius, you know, what mm. can you count on, and do you want, you know, in some cases you don't want it, you want people to move in and out of a beam of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be an interesting exercise to go through all my songs and figure out which personalities are in all the songs, and they're all they're, they're the same personality but in different places. Mm -hmm. And you could really, um, I don't know if you make a record out of it, but I mean, you know, you make an object out of it, you could, that's that, you know, that would be maybe a code, that's all. Mm -hmm. That's all it would be, it would be like a series of ones and zeros. One of the things that I sort of got to by working out extensions of these arrangements for the for songs is how, uh, if you if you start thinking of intonation as really a, a silly idea, there's really like a throwback to, to classical music, which was basically how do you, you know how do you, in the medieval times when they when you had Palestrina and, uh, and uh, Marshall, you didn't have in, um, rules of of harmony. In fact, your, your intonation system was based on the reverberation in, in the cathedral, mm. in the church. Mm. That's mm. your idea of what intonation was. Mm. Nowadays, if you had that intonation working for you, you'd be out of tune, mm. and which is what the drone does. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But there are other ways of being, you know, charming with it, with bad intonation. Mm. It's 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 mm. it's a dramatic effect, mm. and. Um,
But yeah. this, this is the way it is right now. It does teach you things about yourself. It makes it makes demands of you, and you've got to be honest about them. <laughs> and you know that thing about that whatever you experience there, you take away with you, and you can't tell anybody. Nobody's nobody knows what it is, but you you have it. <laughs> and uh, like, I like that kind of reassurance. I mean, it's it's really what getting away from the uh, the military industrial complex can benefit from. Yeah, yeah, I mean that's why we're doing it, right? Like that, yeah, to, to say that these things can do do something else, they can be something else. Yeah, that's funny, yeah. But I think the same with, with, with the drones that we spent so much work on actually getting them to behave, you know. And now that we've kind of come to terms with that, we kind of know how to do it, it's getting them to misbehave, which is the exciting bit, mm -hmm. right? Like, like, can you get them to improvise? You know, can we, can we code it in such a way that there's space for them to do their own thing, yeah. almost, you know? Yeah, Instead sure of me making them to go here, 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 because I know that's what the song's doing. Can I say go here and here and then drop the signal and then yeah, see like, what they do, right? They, and like, then put it back in. They can fulfill the same purpose as, as a carrier frequency in a ring modulator. You know, ring modulator splits the frequencies. Mm -hmm. if, if you change the carrier frequency, you'll get a difference. Mm -hmm. So having them as a different carrier frequency and all of this, mm -hmm. it splits up. I mean, there are, there are layers of things here that we're just learning about. <laughs> <laughs> On to practical matters. <laughs> <laughs>